Welcome to All Signs Tarot. This is a daily love reading for the sign of Gemini for the 30th of March 2022. Okay, and I was about to say, show me the Gemini who need to hear these messages today. And I've got Seven of Swords and the King of Cups. So you might have lots of water in your chart too, maybe Scorpio or any other water sign. But you're hiding your feelings. That's what I'm getting, that this is somebody who is hiding their feelings. Seven of Swords is usually a bad card, but like I said, coming here with the King of Cups, it could mean that, um, like I said, you're hiding your feelings for somebody. You could be surveilling somebody also. You could be, this is Aquarius energy, so you could be using technology to spy on somebody. Somebody you have feelings for. You want to find out what this person is doing so you can, um, you can know how to go towards them. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, you may, you want to make an offer, a stable offer of commitment to this person, but you feel like you need to hide, you need to be, um, you need to be um, very planned about this Five of Swords reversed. What you actually want to do is like bury the hatchet, I guess, with this person, because this guy in the Seven of Swords, he's running away with five swords, and he leaves two swords behind. So you could have left, left somebody behind in a state of confusion, waiting for you. Five of Swords reversed. is like the guy in the Five of Swords, the guy's returning, right? The guy who ran away with the Five Swords is returning with three swords. So you're returning with a broken heart. Okay, I, I swear to God, this is for a man again. This reading's for a man. The Aries, Taurus, and Gemini readings keep coming up for a man, for men. In the last, I don't know, few days. So I think this reading's for a man. Yes, it's true. I've got two yeses here. Yes, it's for a man. This man could be thinking about an earth sign or a water sign woman. Twelve could be significant. Or twenty-one. It could have been the ending of a cycle with this woman. So this man wants to offer the King of Cups, wants to bring the cup to the Queen of Pentacles here so they can have the Two of Cups together. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. There you go, 12. Uh, somebody could be born on the 12th or uh, the 12th of a month could be significant. The 2nd of January or the 1st of February could be significant. 2nd of January is in Capricorn season. Maybe this woman's a Capricorn because she came out as an earth sign, um, and the 1st of February is in Aquarius season. You might have Aquarius in your chart too. So that could be the case here. The Fool. You want to express yourself, but you are being sneaky. You're trying to follow this woman around to find out what she's up to, so you know if it's okay to come in or not. I just saw the Five of Wands try to flip over. So there was conflict with this woman and you want to bury the hatchet with them. You don't. You want to get out of conflict. 51 could also be significant here. The 5th of January or the 1st of May. They could also be a Taurus. The 1st of May is in Taurus season. 5th of January again Capricorn. So I got Capricorn twice for this woman. They could be a Capricorn. Look, 34 could be significant. I'm getting a lot of numbers. <gasps> 1, 2, 3, 4. That's insane. Look at that. Oh my god. I can't believe they came out like that. So you're holding back and you're watching this woman. That's what I'm getting. You're surveilling them. You could even have ha hacked their phone or something. Because 2 of Wands with 7 of Swords for me could be like hacking. Literally hacking somebody's device. So you're holding back from them, but at the same time you're watching them. Holding back. The King of Cups also is somebody who has strong feelings, but they hold them back. They don't express them necessarily to another person. So it's like you've got... Um, you're afraid of rejection here. You're afraid that if you take your cup and go and express yourself... Um, they might take your cup, they might even celebrate with you, but it might be, they might keep it casual. They might keep it friendly. You might want the two of cups, but they, okay, so this could be you. You might have a lot of water in your chart. The other person is very likely an earth sign or they have a lot of earth in their chart or mainly earth. 
So it's like you and them. And you want the Two of Cups, right? The Two of Cups clarifies the King of Cups. The Three of Cups clarifies the Knight of Pentacles. So it could be that this person just wants to be your friend, doesn't want to be in a in a relationship with you, and but you want a relationship. So you're afraid that if you give them their your cup, they're, they're going to take it as a friendship proposal. Or they're only going to accept your friendship and they're going to reject you romantically. But with the one, two, three, four, it's like you still have to go through these uh, steps. Because you have such strong feelings for this person, you can't just hold it in forever, right? It's, it's probably a good idea to just express your feelings and see where that leads. If it leads to rejection or not. So this man needs to have the courage to talk to this woman rather than watching all these tarot readings. I have been picking up uh, for the past year more and more men have been watching tarot readings. Of course, some of them are genuinely spiritual men who are awakening, but some of them, they are just looking at these readings because they want to manipulate women. And of course, a man who comes up as Seven of Swords and King of Cups could be the King of Manipulators. So maybe that's why this man is watching so many readings, because they want to manipulate somebody. But they might just try to know that the, if this person wants to be in a relationship also. If they actually want the same things. But I'm not getting a good vibe from somebody who's trying to hack your phone. This, this man could have hacked somebody's phone. Queen of Wands. Ten of Wands. Maybe this man wants to find out if the woman's... a. Uh, promiscuous I wanted to say something worse but um, does this man want to know if the woman's promiscuous ten of pentacles okay they, oh they want to know if this woman's married probably they want to find out if the woman's married look king of wands queen of wands king of wands ten of pentacles in the middle yeah so this could be a married couple the six of wands Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So either the man wants to know if this woman's married to somebody else, or they want to know if this woman is willing to commit or if she just wants a fling. So he wants to know what she wants before she goes towards her. Three of Pentacles. This man um, does want a commitment. They might want to work with this woman on something also. Could be a family. They could work on a family or they could work on a business together. I've got the Two of Swords and the Knight of Wands and the Five of Wands. There's some kind of blockage and some kind of um, conflict here. Knight of Wands. Hmm. So we had the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. I just thought about the previous reading I did, which was for Taurus. <gasps> I just, oh my god, what did I say? I said I had the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, and now the King of Pentacles came out. Look, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. There's a family here. Either there's already an existing family or this man wants to have a family with this woman. And this reading might resonate with the Taurus reading too. Whoever resonates with this might resonate with Taurus. Because I just had a flashback of the Taurus reading. And I completely forgot that that was another reading. And now this came out. So this is clear. Yes, you might have Taurus or you might be dealing with a Taurus. So either you have Taurus in your chart or you're dealing with a Taurus or somebody who has lots of Taurus in their chart. Because we've got Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Knight of Wands. Now we've got King of Wands, sorry, Pentacles, Pentacles, Pentacles. So there's a family here. There's an existing family or somebody wants to have a family, which is this King of Cups. Four of Wands, yeah, definitely. They want to come into union with this woman. They want to have stability. Okay. Ten of Swords. But it could be that another relationship needs to end in order for this one to come together. 
that's why he feels like the seven of swords he feels like he would be cheating like he would be a cheater if he took away like a homewrecker this man feels like he might be a homewrecker because this woman could have somebody else or they might could could be their own homewrecker right they might have to destroy their own family unit that they created already in order to be with this woman so that's why this man is very anxious six of swords Yeah, the, he needs to walk away from something or she needs or both of them need to walk away from another relationship in order to be together. <sighs> Five of Pentacles. Yeah, he feels left out. He needs two people might end up left out in the cold. Or he feels left out in the cold. He feels like he's in a subsisting relationship, but he's there for the children. He's there maybe because of financial difficulties too. Yes, it's true. King of Swords came out. So that's the situation here. Very complicated. Nine of Wands. Yeah, he feels like he's been through a lot. Like he can barely... Yeah, he can barely take the situation anymore. So what's the advice here for this man? Three of Swords. They need to break somebody's heart, I guess. And they need to get single, right? They need to break their current partner's heart and become single. <sighs> yeah, that's what it is. Ten of Cups. And then they can have the Ten of Cups with the person they really want to be with, right? They can have their wish fulfillment. But it is at the cost of somebody else. It's, uh, it's going to cost somebody some heartbreak here. But it's going to lead to something that's actually happy and healthy, right? And balanced. So there you go. That's the advice for Gemini. I hope this helps. Take care.